Hey guys, Denis Kozhor here. In this video I want to show you how to make this transition between tiles and wood parquet. If you want more interesting videos, please subscribe on my channel, write some comments. That's all, motivate me for recording new videos. In 3ds Max let's create simple box. So I will create such one with 3 meters high and 5 meters length and width. From here we can create some camera. First of all I will position it in the middle of the scene, then create corona camera. I will also position it in the middle as well as the camera target and from here I will press shift plus F and um, in the render settings I will set up HDTV so my aspect ratio will be 16 to 9 and from here we can look through the camera just select it here and then from the side view I will position the camera so I can see what's going on like this then we need to create floor so I will convert this gem to editable poly then with the shift key and drag clone to object and then I can isolate this geometry and add floor generator. If it doesn't have full floor generator version with hexagon tiles, you can create them by yourself just with simple splines. Here you can find handgun, create such one and simply copy it so you get the pattern like here. As you can see, floor generator now creates geometry on the bottom. It because the normals are looking in the bottom. So I just flip it and uh, now floor generator will work as it should. Here I will create radius with 15 centimeters. I will leave these settings as the by default and then let's place it on the floor. Then we need to create some windows. I will just detach this wall as an object then with edge poly connect create two segments then with the chamfer I can split them to make the windows and then with the control and pressing on the vertex I switch to select them and then with the scale tool I will make them wider with the connect I will create another set of edges and with vertex I also will make them more wider so more light will come into the scene. Here I will just detach these two polygons and then let's assign corona gray material to all objects and for the windows I will assign corona portal MTL. Here it seems like I create windows on the wrong side so I will just rotate it. I will affect it only to the center and so them rotated correctly I will change how it works with the group so it appears in the middle and just rotate with the snaps angle snaps like this so the window will be from the side to the camera and now we can select which part of this floor we want to keep so I will convert it to editable poly and then from here with the elements I will just delete them maybe like this or a little bit more like that. Okay, from here we can select different kind of polygons or angons and uh, simply delete them so we get more interesting shape and more interesting transition like this. Then I will select all edges and isolate it. Then I need just to get this counter. So with the Alt key I will deselect all unneeded edges like this and um, then we need to create linear shape from this. So I press here create shape from selection linear OK. Then I will select this line press 1 to select vertices like them all and then let's weld them with 1 centimeter. It doesn't enough and I forget we get also lines on the top so I will delete them with the edges or segments selected and then when we have only one dimension line I will weld vertex like these and then convert all vertex to corner type. Okay, 
then we can create line like this weld vertex let's them check again so here we have only one vertex and here we also need to weld it like this okay fine from here we can create floor generator with standard type and then let's type in 100 centimeters like this now i get this floor and then let's add some light into this scene i will create simple corona sun from the other side so i doesn't have two sharp shadows and two sharp light let's start interactive render and see what we get here it's pretty nice let's boost the contrast like three adjust filmic highlights and filmic shadows if you wish from here i doesn't want it and add some vignetting fine then let's create materials for these tiles to do so i will use this concrete texture just create another corona material and from here we also need to doesn't forget to assign portals portal materials to these fragments okay fine here for more randomization i will use corona multimap with mod mesh element item count i will change to three add this here this here and this here assign to the diffuse color like this assign this material let's show him in viewport and we need to unwrap it so i will open uv editor select them all and simply pack custom like this now i get this kind of texture that i want let's look how it renders from here i will make some gamma random and make not so saturated so using color correction i will add this now here and decrease the saturation like this i think this is pretty fine then we can add reflection and go through the perspective window look how it works from here maybe like this we can see now how reflections work let's let, let's make them less glossy like this and we can make them more advanced using this texture let's assign it and to see it more clearly we can decrease the diffuse and make it more lighter here in advanced rgb controls lightness of the texture so i will make it 200 yes this looks much better and we can create with corona bump converter bump texture like this let's turn on the reflection glossy and see how it works i think we need to decrease it to maybe like 0 25 and i think it will be okay let's turn on the diffuse reflection glossy and now we need to stop material for the parquet and uh, i will create another corona mtl at multi texture it installed separately as a floor generator the manage textures i will add some bitmaps like this open them assign to the floor diffuse color assign it sorry to the parquet like this make them more darker so i will increase the gamma here make some randomness in gamma maybe one like this and then let's change the saturation to 50 yes it looks more interesting for me and then let's add another color correction node turn on the reflection and uh, set up how it looks from here assign it i wish to make it less glossier like this so i will assign the reflection glossy map make it monochrome in advance let's make it brighter maybe 300 like this it looks pretty fine then we can create another shape like teapot here then add another corona mtl assign it make it darker with the reflections and here we are if you want more advanced tutorials more advanced explanation on how things works and you want to level up in architectural visualization i invite you to my closed community on patreon it's the way for you to support my educational project and in exchange get more interesting and depth knowledges about 3ds max and corona render if you have any questions please ask me link to my patreon will be below the video hope you find it useful and see you next time bye